Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. And uh, Sunny, before we actually start, you know, I'm just talking about a little bit more of the subject that we um, were writing about, but I would like, uh, I would like for you to kind of like, or I would like us, you know, to introduce you a little bit more mm -hmm. and tell everyone that is going to be joining us or is going to be watching the live later on IGTV, um, kind of like, what is your background? What is it that you do? Uh, but also, where are you from? <laughs> Latina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's start actually with that. Where are you from originally? All right. I was born in Venezuela, in nice. South America. Yes. How yeah. and uh, how long have you been in the U.S.? Oh wow! Over twenty-four years. Like I moved uh, straight from Venezuela to Washington D.C. and wow. I lived there for twenty-four years. My mother was working for the embassy of Venezuela. That is why both my brother and I moved there. And oh, wow. then after a long time there, I said to my husband, "Like, oh, I really miss the warm weather. I miss having the Christmas lights." On the palm trees. Yeah. <laughs> so that is when we said, that's it, we're moving. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. And tell me, what is your background? What is it that you do? Um, I am a marketing strategist. That's really what I've been doing for the, you know, larger, largest part of my life in the mm -hmm. corporate world. Uh, but most recently, two years ago, I actually got laid off from a worldwide well-known company where I was the vice president of marketing. And that is when I said, that's it. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm not going to go back to work for own consent and I'm going to make it happen. Great. So, I, I, I love that. I really yeah. do. Um, and this is kind of like also while we met and how we met, right? It's just That's an right. inter entrepreneurial world. And I started kind of also following you because I think it's really inspiring that, you know, a lot of women um, from all, really, I mean, from all sorts of backgrounds, you know, are joining in this virtual space and mm -hmm. are sharing their skills and are trying to teach and, you know, empower, well, I wouldn't say necessarily empower, but help other women to understand how much power they have and how much knowledge they have. Yes. And, um, and I think that you're doing a really great job in um, teaching people how to use more YouTube and video, right? As a skill of yeah. marketing themselves. Yeah, so originally I was more, you know, like a holistic marketing strategist where, mm -hmm. because that's really my background, everything with regards to branding, content, lead generation, events, so everything marketing related. Mm -hmm. But then as I started my entrepreneur journey, it's when I started learning actually that the more that you niche down, the better off you are. Mm -hmm. and, and that is when I decided I'm just going to do video podcasting. I want to teach people how they can first find a voice and second, share their message with the world, share their content with the world. So that is actually where I started to narrow it down into yeah. the video podcasting um, arena, if you will. Mm -hmm. Great. And you are also, you've also created a course, right, that you're currently yeah. sharing with the world. That is correct. So the name of the course is uh, Video Podcast Academy. And right now we have the registrations open for the masterclass. The masterclass is on June 2nd at 7 p.m. in English and June 3rd at 7 p.m. in Spanish. I love that. That's going to be a challenge. You know, it's, and, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, the course then will, the registrations for the course open up on the 2nd. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Great. So you haven't started taking any registrations yet for the course? No, no. The registrations right now are closed. We are taking registrations for the master classes. Okay. So those two master classes on the 2nd and the 3rd of June. Yeah. Perfect. And would you mind to share kind of like why you think that uh, marketing yourself through a video podcast is effective? Sure. So 
I would say, especially right now, and this is the, like digital marketing is always being present and it's actually grown over the years. Like, you know, you've seen a pattern where people started using more of the internet. Then after that wave, people started using more of social media. Then mm -hmm. after that wave, now people are using more video. So right now, with this pandemic happening, I think is the prime time where most people are using social media and the internet, not only to consume the content, but also to put out content. Mm -hmm. So the most successful entrepreneurs, what I'm seeing is that they see this right now, not as a disadvantage, not as a something negative, mm -hmm. but actually as an opportunity, an opportunity to get their message across and to connect with their audience because right now everybody's on the internet everybody's on social mm -hmm. media consuming that content mm -hmm. so what happened to me and this was two years ago when mm -hmm. i was really planning on launching my podcast originally mm -hmm. was oh i'm gonna do a podcast which is audio only now i'm all about efficiencies and effectiveness of my time because mm -hmm. I find that time is the most valuable thing that all of us have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Because we cannot get it back. Yeah. Once yeah. it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. So my thought was, well, if I'm going to be recording the time, if I'm going to take the time to create the content, to interview somebody, to mm -hmm. put together the questions, to prep, to set up all the equipment, to get my hair done, yeah. <laughs> then yeah. I might as well get the best out of it. So I said, I said, okay, if I'm going to do audio, I'm going to do video as well at the same time. So I started doing some research and I noticed that a lot of the most successful entrepreneurs, we're already doing it, but without knowing they didn't put a name to it, but they were already recording the audio and the video and they mm -hmm. were putting it out. And I said, I got to give this a name. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not going to come up with something clever and different that nobody's going to understand. <laughs> video podcasting it is. So I started talking about it and more and more people started reaching out and saying, what is it and how do I do it? And mm -hmm. it's brilliant putting the two together. And then I just decided I'm just going to package everything that I've learned for myself so I can teach others mm -hmm. how to do it. Mm -hmm. And that is how Video Podcast Academy was born, is really the seven-step process that teaches you how to launch your podcast mm -hmm. so you can reach a broader audience and grow your, grow your yeah. audience and, and reach a broader reach. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I really, you know what, I really love that. And it's so funny just because, you know, especially – like right now, right? Like I'm trying to scale up my business. I'm trying to reach more people. I'm trying to also share more of the content with different audiences. And if, like I run consistently into the time issue, right? Because I will write a blog post, you know, and then I will like send out my blog post as a newsletter or I will repost it on Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook, you know, and LinkedIn. And so now right. I'm trying to, you know, of course, you know, I do have to adjust it, you know, for LinkedIn or Facebook or mm -hmm. All yeah. good, but at the same time, you know, I started realizing that also, for example, creating live sessions or having those conversations with other people yeah. is just so valuable, you know, because most like the most valuable content is being created in a conversation with another person, right? Where you yes. can pitch an idea, you can get direct feedback, you know, you can also ask for how does that resonate with you? How does that make you feel? Yes. And so that is kind of like, you know, the um the area that I'm like started to say, okay, cool. You know what? I have to slowly put out more video content myself because mm -hmm. people want to, you know, people want to see also what I have to say and they want to be able to join into the conversation. And it's really funny, you know, like the last two days, um, I don't know. I mean, I spoke about topics that are a little bit out of my niche that I'm presenting as such. Mm -hmm. Right. But, uh, like veganism and vegetarianism. I saw that. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah. But it's really interesting. I mean, I had so many DMs, you know, and so many people commented and said, hey, don't you want to like talk about more about it? And I'm like, sure, I can do that. Right. But yeah. um, you need to find a framework for it. So yeah. I love the idea of the video podcast because you can post it on YouTube. You can use it, you know, or you can use parts of it on Facebook. You can use it on Instagram, on IGTV. You can, 
use it in so many different ways but at the same yeah. time you can also just take out the you know the the uh, voice over and just post it as a regular podcast if you wish to oh yeah absolutely and, and that is actually the beauty of it actually i'm feeling inclined right now to draw it for you i'm in a conference room here <laughs> yeah, <I love> that. <laughs> yeah why not so just to give you an example right so i have a whiteboard right here so mm -hmm. if you were to do a podcast only right Mm -hmm. Oh, this doesn't work. Hold on. Let me get the black one. <laughs> <laughs> this is like real time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. So, okay, none of them work. Darn it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, no, you can't see that, can you? Mm, just no. Look, but you can try. Yeah, let me. There's one more. Let's see. Let's give this one a try. So, no, same thing. Can you see? Yeah, I can. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you're doing just a podcast. That is mm -hmm. the audio that mm -hmm. ends up being an MP3 file, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happens with that file? You ended up posting it to iTunes, right? Mm -hmm. Stitcher. Mm-hmm in Google, and all the other audio platforms, right? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. he, here's the biggest difference. This is the extent of it, of all you're going to get and all you're going to see yeah. of your time if you just do the audio piece, which mm -hmm. is the podcast piece. Mm -hmm. Now, by adding video, now I'll take a look at this. So you add video, video, now you can post these to YouTube. Now, this that you post to YouTube, you can cut it into two pieces, into macro content, which is the long form, mm -hmm. and then the micro content, which is the short form. Mm -hmm. Long form is anything that is 10 minutes and above. Mm -hmm. Short form is anything that is five minutes and below. Mm -hmm. That's the video that you post to YouTube. Then you can post it to Instagram. You can post it to Facebook. You can post it to LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Et cetera, et cetera. So now you went from posting it only to the audio platforms to having exactly the same content on video posted to all these different platforms. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, you then take this and then you send it to this one company called rev.com. And there is many other ones where you can get the transcript and now you can get a blog post out of it. You can get an Instagram quote out of it. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. So you see how all of a sudden yeah. your content just multiplies. Yeah. which means you yourself have multiplied across all the different social media platforms by sitting down one time. So the secret is actually two words. It's called batching mm -hmm. because you batch the content only yeah. one time and it's repurposing across all the social yeah. media platforms. I love that. I yeah. Love that. Sandy, you just mentioned, uh, you just mentioned um, a software that is doing the transcript for you. Can you, say, can, I, can you tell us the name again for it? Sure. It's rev, R -E -V dot com. Yeah. And there is many other ones, but this one in particular, you just upload or send them the link to your mm -hmm. video on YouTube, and they, within hours, send you the entire transcript, with it, which is a Word document, yeah. with everything that you and your guests said Perfect. during that conversation. And then yeah. what you can do, you can send that off to a VA and say, okay, now I want you to put this into a blog, in my blog post on my yeah. website. I want you to take little bits and pieces and create mm -hmm. little quotes that I can put all throughout mm -hmm. my Instagram. And you can put those on your feed. You can put those on your um, stories. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the idea is just to repurpose all that content as yeah. much as you can. Yeah. So that way you're not constantly thinking about, what am I going to post? What am I going to say? Where do I get the content yeah. from? What do you, uh, Sandy, just a quick question, you know, in, in, uh, in regards to all of it. Would you mind to share your favorite editing software and maybe the 
your favorite microphone? Sure. So I use the Yeti mic. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one that I use just with, um, with the arm, but they mm -hmm. sell the ones that you can put on your desk. Mm -hmm. My recommendation actually for anyone that is starting is just use this. I mean, start simple. Don't invest a lot of money. Believe me. Like if you yeah. start investing a lot of money, then you feel like, oh my God, I have to invest money, time and effort. And then you're going to find excuses not to do it. Mm -hmm. You just use this and use Zoom on your computer mm -hmm. with a Logitech camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you put on the top of mm -hmm. your screen. You're set. You're good to go. That is how I started. Yeah. Then over time, you're going to start adding like the fancy mics. And, but the most important thing is for you to commit. To know that you're going to show up and that you're going to do it and that you're yeah. going to be consistent. That's yeah. more important than yeah. a mic, than a, than a camera, than anything like that. Yeah. And I think that, you know, the consistency, the consistency is what actually is really the key to it, you know. And that's the reason why I said a couple of weeks ago, I said, okay, I will be showing up every Tuesday at 1230, you know. Beautiful. This is like my time slot. I'm still not sure if this is the best time slot, you know. I've tested other ones where I felt like more people had time. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what, I am diligent in repurposing the, you know, uh, the footage that we are getting and people have still access to it. So it's not a waste yeah. of, the, of the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let me give you a tip about the best time to post. Is your account, your Instagram account, a business account or a personal? A business. Okay. So you have the analytics within, yes. okay. Yeah, so no, you, I looked at it and, the, and according to the analytics, it should be 1230, you know. Perfect. And then another one is an app that you can get from the app store that is called when to post. Mm -hmm. So if you download that, then you can compare between when to so, post tells you that it's a good date and time mm -hmm. versus what Instagram is mm -hmm. telling you. Yeah. Hey guys, just, uh, everyone that is still right now live with us, feel free to type in any questions. We can see them and we can, um, ask Sandy to, to answer those for us, you know, <laughs> that we have her here. But Sandy, before we, um, thanks so much for sharing all of it about the video podcasting sure. uh, and, you know, like giving the tips and, um, I mean, people can follow you and they can see you and I'm diligent. I will, um, I will try to create a blog post and I will add a couple of your links to it. I've been myself on, uh, Sandy's, uh, video podcast. That's so that right. was a lot of fun, uh, just to see also how it's being produced and seeing the, everything behind the scenes. But Sandy, one thing, you know, um, how difficult was it for you to kind of like restart and redo everything that you worked for in your life? So when you got laid off, you know, um, how, how difficult was it for you to kind of like start off with your own business? Mm -hmm. That's a great question because exactly today I actually typed an email to everybody that is helping me with the launch, right? Mm -hmm. And I just said something along the lines of my entrepreneurial journey has been full of challenges, ups and downs, mm -hmm. lots of tears. It's been a lot more emotional than what I had expected. Um, it, but it also has been a lot of achievements, a lot mm -hmm. of accomplishments and fulfillment of putting all the pieces of the amazing puzzle together, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yes, it's not easy. You know, it's, I'm not going to lie. It's not like this beautiful unicorn that some people, you know, paint it as like, oh, I'm at the beach with my computer. No, that's not true. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was a workaholic when I was working at the corporate world and I'm probably more of a workaholic now because I'm yeah. doing it for myself. Um, but I think the most important thing is being clear about your why. And mm -hmm. you and I mm -hmm. love Simon yeah. Sinek and yes. we love about yes. everything that he teaches about the why. When you know your yeah. why, there is, you're unstoppable. Like yeah. nobody, no opinion, no comment, nothing is going to stop you. You may mm -hmm. question yourself because you will. You're going to feel the imposter syndrome. Because you will. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel like sometimes you're totally down and you're not going to be able to get up. But you will get up. Because your why is what's going to yeah. make you keep going and not yeah. stopping That's because that is what drives your heart. Your yeah. heart is what defines where you're going to get. Mm -hmm. It's not... It's not the likes, it's not the comments, it's yeah, not right, sure. how easy or how difficult it is. Yeah. It's when you put your heart into something and you said, that's it, that's 
all I'm going to do for yeah. the rest of my life. Uh, just a, a different question in that regard. And uh, Dion, we, uh, I see your question. We will come back to it just in a moment. Um, I just want, uh, I just want uh, Sandy to kind of a little bit dive a little bit deeper into um, not just the why, but kind of like the process into transitioning from corporate into um, into your own into your own company, right? Yeah. And so, um, you know, when I work, I work a lot with women that are afraid, right? And mm -hmm. fear is quite often kind of like that that part that is stopping them from actually really doing whatever they want to do. Have you experienced fear uh, oh my along God. that pathway? <laughs> we all do. It's normal. It's natural to feel it. And I'm going to tell you a true story. So for the first two years of my entrepreneur journey, I was like, oh, I'm doing marketing. I mean, I wanted to be everything for everybody. And the marketing strategies that does everything, because mm -hmm. that is my background. That is mm -hmm. what I've been living and breathing my whole life, over 24 years, right? Mm -hmm. Then I noticed that I was actually afraid to own the market, own that space that said video podcast. Why? Because it didn't exist. Mm -hmm. right some people knew what it was some people have been doing it but they didn't put a label on it mm -hmm. so all of a sudden before i joined uh business by design which is the program where i i follow mm -hmm. my coach james wetmore mm -hmm. i used to question myself all the time and i was i had fear of even saying the word video podcast because mm -hmm. i thought all along nobody's gonna know what it means nobody's mm -hmm. gonna follow And then I sat down with James one day and I said, James, I'm having a hard time with this. I have fear to talk mm -hmm. about it. This was last October. You know what he said to me? He said, Sandy, isn't that an opportunity? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. From that moment, I'm like, what? I've been fearing talking about it because I think that nobody's going to understand. But it should be, instead of fear, an opportunity for me to tap into a place that nobody has tapped and help people mm -hmm. to double, triple their audience, their reach mm -hmm. in a way that they haven't done it before. Yeah. So the fact yeah. that it doesn't exist doesn't mean that I shouldn't do it. That means it's an opportunity for me mm -hmm. and for others to tap into something new. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yes, I, I have fears. Yeah. I, uh, and I agree with you uh, on that one, especially if we feel like we are, you know, trying to give it a name and create something new and kind of like and also you already touched on it a little bit and i think that that's um also really important because a lot of questions say yeah a lot of people question the reason why they should do something i have a lot of clients that will say hey you know what there are so many other people that are doing this already why should i do this yeah. right and you said it already you're like there were technically people that were doing it but no one was naming it as such right and no one was, was openly talking about the benefits of you yeah. know like content content batching because that's what you're doing right you're doing you know like you're simplifying content batching Correct. by giving it a name and you should yeah. well like content batching what you know you want me to talk about time for what <laughs> yeah. you know yeah so you know so i think that that is that is so important but at the same time it's yes you know you need to find your unique voice and you might be doing things that other people have done but your personality does not have to resonate with everyone yeah. so someone else that has been doing similar things they might be resonating with a very different group of clients than yeah. you do and yeah. i think that's you know we need to kind of like stop consistently being afraid that we need to compete because the mm -hmm. market is so big we don't need to compete correct we, you know like we need to rather collaborate and learn from one another and just find the right people Instead exactly. of focusing on the things, you know, that other, other people have done or not done. And, you know, it's like, just do whatever you, I don't know, maybe also kind of like what your heart, uh, heart, your heart. Uh, leads you to do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah no, I totally I agree with that. And, you know, to the fact that, to what you were saying, that a lot of people have fear because they say, you know, that already exists or what am I going to do? I'm just going to be another one. You know, Marie Forleo says yeah. can you imagine if oprah said i would not launch my show the oprah show because there's already other talk shows yeah or ellen the generous we would miss the whole beauty of oprah or ellen the generous but they took the risk 
Why, and to your point, mm -hmm. what do people like? They get attracted to your energy. They get attracted yes. to the way that you yes. deliver. You and I may be in exactly the same industry, exactly the same niche, doing exactly the same thing, but your way of communicating and saying it is totally different than mine. So to the infinite possibilities of what abundance really means mm -hmm. is that there is enough people that some will gravitate towards you and some will gravitate towards me. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, absolutely. I agree with you on that one so much. And I think there's just so much beauty in it. Let us just go quickly to Dion's question. Yes. Um, she asked, that she's producing lots of videos each day. And if we have any suggestions, or if you, do, if you have any suggestions to improve them. I don't know if you've seen any of her videos. I have. I follow okay. her. I love her. And you have to see her videos. She's amazing. Dion, I'm sorry, but I don't have tips for you. You're too good. <laughs> you're, you're doing everything right right now. Uh, I would just say, keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing. And it, your true personality, your heart and soul just really comes through. So just keep doing what you're doing. It's like, you know what? It's my camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That happened to me before. <laughs> it's oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I need to, I need to, I need to connect with you and I need to see what you're doing. Um, like yeah. now to make me curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's putting out amazing content, beautiful videos. And, you know, it's just the whole feed, the way that she developed it on Instagram. Like she stepped it up and now she's really rocking. Yeah. Sunny, I have one last question. Uh, yes. And I'm hoping that I'm not going to be stepping on your toes, but as you know, <laughs> Go for many, it. like, you know, a lot of people, especially on Instagram and even more so on TikTok, are just very young. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. even like, even I start feeling really old <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> looking at, you know, like 19 and 20 year old ones, you know, kind of like just surfing, you know, through the virtual world and creating content and, but also creating an income for themselves. Would you say... There is that, that there is such a point as being too old to go viral with your business? Mm -hmm. I would say compared to what? That would be my answer, right? Because age is all about perception. You know, if, yeah, you, think, if you think that 10 years old is too old for a three-year-old, mm -hmm. then there is a comparison. So it's compared mm -hmm. to what? If you say a 40-year-old, yeah. I'm 45. I'm 45 yeah. and I feel alive. I feel like I can do all this. I yeah. learned the technology and I put out my content. Now, I'm not comparing myself to the 20 year olds, to the 50 year olds, mm -hmm. because that is not my audience. If they ended up mm -hmm. following me and they like it, all the power to us. Yeah. But as long as you compare yourself, then you're saying, Am I too old? Yeah. Somebody came to me the other day. I brought my dog to work. And yeah. this guy walked by and he goes like, that dog is huge, it's big. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, compared to what? Are you comparing it to a chihuahua? Yeah. Are you comparing <laughs> it to, to me, he's not big. And so the same applies yeah. with age. It's all about yeah. how you feel, because how you feel inside is going to show and it's going to portray it on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's it. I love it. You know, I really, really love it. And um yeah, she also said, no way, there's no, you know, there's no way as uh, such thing of, uh, of being too old. And I absolutely agree, you know, and this is kind of like the message that I'm sending out yeah. and trying to kind of like help people also to breach that gap and not be afraid of the technology, yeah. you know, because a lot of people are the ones that are, um, you know, they, they are touching the phone and they're looking at everything and they're like, you know, this is also complicated. And you know what, yeah. quite often, these things, they are complicated for all of us, right? If you give me a new software, a new app or whatever, right. I have to like fiddle around with it and learn how to use it. Exactly. So everyone can really learn it. And especially in a time where, you know, where we can get a VA so easily just somewhere, you know, through the, uh, through the internet, mm -hmm. we can always find help and help that yeah. will support us in our cause. So, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, right? When you want to do something, if you really want to do it, you're not going to look for excuses. If yeah. you're hesitant yes. about what you want to do, yeah. if you're questioning, you, you're going to look for excuses. I'm too old, I'm too you know, fat, I'm too mm -hmm. short, I'm too tall, I'm too blonde or mm -hmm. too dark. It's like, or yeah. I, I'm too naive or I don't know enough mm -hmm. technology. 
when you want to do something, you just forget about all the excuses and you figure it out. You make it happen. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. I'm just saying, yeah. I think next time we need to have a live session with you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I really love it. That's yeah. Really Dion, we need to do a live one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for your time, mm. really. I think that has been really great. And I, um, there are some, some such, such good pieces of advice also for people. And if you want to learn more about how to video podcast and what video podcasting actually means, make sure to fo uh, follow Sandy. I'm going to tag her in one of my comments and in the captions on my IGTV story. So you can easily just click on it and you know follow her, go on, your web on her website and mm -hmm. just learn more about it. So we will, we are, we're going to stay in touch. Of yes, course, you know, absolutely. And, um, I'm looking forward to seeing more content and learning more about the course. Sure. Thank you so much for having me. And mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank, thank you, everyone, you. for joining. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.